Right, gentlemen, you seem to be at your wit's end with this. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Afternoon, this is Sheila Jones. She's with Interpol. She's working out of the Australian office. She's also working with MI5 in London and with private contractors in San Sebastian and in Belfast. What would Interpol want in a domestic drugs and arms race? Excuse me, gentlemen, I'm here to give our time, not to waste it. So if you can get on briefing your captain, I can step in when needed. Will do. Okay, well here we have uh, Daisy Daly, who we thought was the head of the gang. But from other information we gathered and from undercover sources, we established that here, George Daly was in fact the head of the gang the whole time. Two months ago we raided Daly's warehouse, just in time to save Big Brother Daisy from Little Brother Jar, who had a gun braced against his head. Where are they both now? He's just been released for failure to pay his TV license. Take a anthem when you get it. Nothing to say to me. How's your neck? How do you think my neck is? It's scared of me for fucking life. Yeah, and I'm looking out for the fucking bastard who did it, alright? The bastard? You mean your missus? Susan? What? Yeah, you know fucking well she did it. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not no fucking. You know what, maybe I should have a chat with the guards or something. Sorry, Get a bit of justice for myself. Listen to me, you fucking cunt now, right? You're not going to the guards at all. Alright, because if you do, you'll end up in the fucking channel when I'm finished with you. Alright? Now what do you want to do? Nothing, is it? No. Exactly. No. Now get the fuck away from me now. Please continue. Due to the wrong documentation with our warrant, our search and operation of the day these premises were void of law, everybody walked. The brother Jer? Well, Jer Daly's been off the grid for quite some time now. Uh, nobody's seen him. We were monitoring his businesses around the clock and his daily visits to the brothels have stopped. We need you back fully healthy. 100% we need you. I'm we full. need you more than we need anybody, but at full health. I'm full and I'm ready to go. Just point me in the right direction and I'll get that son of a bitch. Alright? Where is he? Like, has anyone seen him? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone! He just goes. Listen, we don't know, we didn't know how we were going to tell you, but we haven't been able to find Jer for the last couple of weeks, okay? We've been monitoring all his businesses, he hasn't showed up, all his old haunts, he's not there, Steve, okay? We just we cannot find him. He's gone off the grid. And Steve, there's something worse. What? What well, could man like? But my man's are back. There are a lot of faces on the board. Could you move along, please? Time is of the utmost importance. Okay, well, as you can see, there's, uh, there's two separate structures. Uh, this one here is headed by Desi and Jer. This one here is Tommy the Ghost. This guy is seriously unpredictable and is well, willing to do anything he's told to do. You called this me. Hello, right, Jack. What do you want? You know where he is. I want to know where he is. Right? Where who is? Are you playing fucking stupid, are yeah? you? Ghost, huh? I know your game, I know you a long fucking time. Don't bother playing fucking stupid with me, do you understand that? And now are you going to set up the meeting now? Yeah. You just make sure it's worth my while. I guarantee you will. Mm. Make sure it'll happen in a week. Now get the fuck out of here. Susan Daly. The wife of Desi. He has little control over her. Still continues to take vicious beatings from him. She knows well about the other women in her husband's life, but remains loyal. Babe, can we go on a holiday? I want to go on a holiday. Come on, I'm going to go on a holiday. Where's everyone going? Paris. Where are we already going to Valley Bunny? What are we talking about Valley Bunny for? It's strange. Kind of ending well. Thailand. Thailand is fantastic. You'll love it. It's so beautiful. Where the fuck is Thailand? What, Smiths?
This here is uh, Lola Buckley. She's uh, one of Dizzy's girlfriends. She's actually just been released from Cork University Hospital. Uh, she spent some time there because she took a beating from uh, Susan Daly. Her uh, throat was slit and she lost a lot of blood. You can't help who you fall in love with. This, this is what I get. Um, we're going to keep close eye on her for the time being and we have permission to monitor her phone as well. This lad uh, here, this is Chris Corbett. He's uh, Susan Daly's uh, brother. Um, he's, he was fairly legit. Good grades, nice guy. A uh, nice group of women friends. Unfortunately, he likes the ponies. Has grossed up a big lass, ballpark 30 to 40k. He's now running and dealing for Desi. Recent details have surfaced that he is using more than the family's products more and more. I suppose in my last bet. My last fucking bet. Good grades, good girl, had it all. And now. And fall deeper into a world that I don't want to be in. This isn't me. This here is uh, Nicole Hannon. Um, don't know much about her now at this stage. Um, we know her father left her, her mom, and her three sisters when she's about six years old. Uh, her mom has been on the game ever since, actually. Just mind yourself. You know what he's on? No, seriously. I'm serious. He'll be fine. Alright, it's Daisy. Yeah, you said you'd be fine with the betting as well. Look, no, it started off innocent like this as well. I'm serious. Nick, don't do it to it. me. Just don't, okay? It's my life. I trust you. And you should trust me. It's only a fucking few bits. There's his man. He's with That's what Laura. That's going on. This. Oh, fuck this shit. What the fuck is wrong with him? I'm like, oh, I can't talk to him. Every time I bring something up, it's like the end of the world. But what's wrong with him? He's fucking, I don't know. I don't want to get into it with you because Come on, it's you Daisy. Tell me. Like, tell me. It's just Daisy. I don't want him getting hurt in this game. Look. You're in a lot of fucking debt, and if I was you, I'd learn to keep my mouth shut. Right? This is going to solve a lot of your problems. Susan, and if I, this is the wrong way to that about you're it. That you're going to be making waves. You're going to pay no, for No, I fucking... I'm warning I'm, you now. You've been warned. Don't come crying to me afterwards. Oh, excuse me, carry on. Okay, part two. Okay, so, well this is the McMahon family here. They've been a thorn in Limerick City and the state there for the last couple of years. They started off in a small market stall there back in the 1980s and as of today they have a fairly ex expensive business. Uh, they're the kings of rock and uh, distribution in and around the city. They've got a, they've got a pretty sewn up here down the sound, uh, down to the south and up north with, with regards to distribution. Um, uh, by bypassing Spain, they've actually gone straight to the African dealers, basically cutting out the middleman. Uh, during the Celtic Tiger, when things were going well, they actually went to small bit legit and he invested heavily in property. Due to the crash, property was raised around their necks. They've gone back to their roots and are pushing in on Desi Daly's foothold in the city. Okay, let's start with the father. The father, Martin McMahon, considers himself to be a very valuable member of society and successful businessman. Acquitted in over three murders in the 90s, he said to have his own way of dealing with those who step out of line. He's a big fan of uh, battery acid. He really, really likes the smell of it. He's got two sons here. First one here, this is, uh, this is little Mike. Um, he's basically the animal of the family. He's recently done time for a GBH, GBH assault. Um, not squeamish whatsoever. We actually had him in here last week. We had a complaint from the neighbour. Uh, with regards to uh, Mikey and her dog, basically the dog was up all night barking and Mikey couldn't get to sleep. Mikey went out and slit the dog's throat. Like we said, an animal. The other son is Porrick. He's the brains of the family. Top grades in school, earned a minimal expenses scholarship to a US college. He put that on hold for a year to go on a holiday visa to Australia. He's just back a few weeks. Next is... That it, then that's my man. Your man? I don't follow. Park isn't so innocent. We've been looking at him for some time now. A young girl from Shenton University in Perth was found dead two months ago. She was said to be seeing an Irish boy of Fitzporrig's description. The timing is perfect. Not seen by many, but they were seen. I'd like to take him in and question him on the double homicide. Double homicide? Yeah, the young girl was three months pregnant. The fetus and most of the intestines had been removed by hand. This is a real sicko we're looking at. Nobody takes anybody in until we get heads of 
both families. I can see your superior officer on this. Go ahead. Detectives, this is our new coroner, Tracy Maloney. She has the results of the two post-mortems of the bodies that were found inside the casino on Friday morning. Okay, go ahead. Okay. With every test that we have, it's still impossible for us to identify both bodies. We can just make out that both were male. What about dental? Every tooth in both victims' bodies was removed after death. Fingers were removed and acid was poured on their face and genitals. The remains in the lungs prove that both these men were alive during the whole ordeal. Yeah, that sounds like my man's doing all right. The battery acid. Fucking sick fucks. Do you want us to continue, sir? Yeah, let's wrap it up. This guy here is Donald McMahon, Martin's brother and partner. He's never done a day inside. He's said to be very cute. One station up north had a guy in deep undercover with him. He hasn't been seen in six years. Donald McMahon turns up at his house in front of, the, of his family on his first absent Christmas and lays a dead pig on their door. And who's the guy on the right? This guy here. This is Derek Dum Dum Delaney. Uh, he went to school and uh, grew up with the McMahon brothers. They look after him basically. He's, uh, he's not the brightest tool in the shed, but he'll jump off a bridge if they ask him to. Or, you know that pig that he's talking about? Yeah. He strangled it. He's out of his mind. And the girl? This here is Martin's daughter. Her name is Rebecca, named after the dead mother. She didn't show up, her, up on her radar until recently. Um, we checked her phone logs and everything, and there's a whole bunch of calls between herself and Desi Daly. Uh, the majority of the calls were made in the early hours of the morning. Okay, we know where we're at. It's time to put this to the Chief Superintendent and see what move he wants us to make. Good work, both of you. Let's try and get these scumbags off our streets. Right? Tommy's gonna fucking flip when he fucking finds out, okay? I've been stalling it for four weeks now. Where the fuck is it? I'll get the money, okay? Alright, we get it, okay? Because I don't want to fucking freaking out here, right? Tommy is yeah. fucking gonna get it, right? Alright? Ha <laughs> ha 